Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you my render settings because some of you guys were asking me. Um, yeah, I prepared this. So basically there are three different types of render settings. Uh, first, if you are working between Sony Vegas and After Effects. Um, yeah, second for the highest quality, like short edits, like if you want to, if you have a edit or something and you want it like the best quality you can get. Um, and then for longer clips or longer videos if you don't really want th that big of a si uh, file size and yeah so now the first way uh, first thing so if you're working between Vegas and After Effects let's say this is an edit and you want to render out this small part uh, if you want to edit this in After Effects let's say this part then you just select that go to file render as and change this to uh, uh, AVI with video for Windows so uh, that's basically a very big file size but also the highest quality you can get so yeah then you go to custom and if you yeah change this to 59.94 and yeah just copy down these settings audio if you need audio project then go to project and be sure that this is on best click OK and then save it so then let's say you import it into After Effects and uh, now you edit all the effects let me just open project yeah this one so let's say you now edited the clip in After Effects and then you want to edit uh, put it back into Sony Vegas and edit it there so then you go to composition add to render queue then you go to this and now there's a change so because you wanted to add maybe slow motion um, in After Effects, you had the frame rate 59.97. But uh, on YouTube, you won't see the difference between 29.97 and 59.97. Let me just change this. So, yeah, basically, if you don't want to add more slow motion to the clip in So in Vegas after you edit it in After Effects, then you don't need that high. Um, frame rate so yeah and also you should al uh, always make the final render in 29.97 so let's say you finished your project in Sony Vegas and then want to make the final render then you will render it in 29.97 because then it's a smaller file size and takes less time to render so yeah 29.97 click OK go to this on lossless and change the format to AVI and if you need audio check audio and then click OK and then you can just hit render. So, yeah, that's the first thing if you are working between Sony Vegas and After Effects. Now, if you want to uh, do the final render and have a shorter video, let's say up to three minutes, four minutes, or whatever, um, and want the highest quality you can get, you also render an AVI uncompressed. But, um, yeah, you can do this with the same settings I just showed you. But now uh, you will go to the link in the description and download this. Just open it up and extract it. And yeah, just open that folder and you will get this file. Maybe put it on your taskbar if you need it more often. So yeah, then you just open that. And this is basically because AVI files are um, insane big, like 2 gigabytes or whatever. Um, it's like too big for YouTube so now you have to compress this but you don't want to lose the quality so you do use this program so go to select select your uh, your final output I'll just select this and then go to select and there you select where you want to save your final video let's say final render hit save and now uh, yeah be sure that the video FPS is at 29.97 and go to presets and change it to the thing at the very top so and then click start encoding then click OK and it should take a while so yeah that's basically it if you want the highest quality for shorter videos and now I will show you some other render settings for maybe some clips you want to upload to YouTube or some longer videos like a 15 minutes commentary where you don't really need that much quality. So let's say, yeah, you have a very long video now. 
I'd say this will be the video. And let's say this is commentary and you want to render this out, or if it's just a clip you want to upload to YouTube, then you should render in WMV because that's a uh, yeah very small file size and a quality that's acceptable. So go to render as, change this to uh, Windows Media Video, and then change this to um, this one. 6 Mbps HD 720p uh, 720 whatever so yeah and then go to custom and yeah so this is these are just my settings but I think they are the best and I use them for everything so yeah yeah pretty much I don't use the WMV settings but I use all the other settings and stuff so go to video and change the video smoothness to 90 or if you don't need that much quality to maybe 80 I will just stick to 90 and then change the frame rate to 29.97 and yeah but if you want to send it maybe to an editor or something you should change it to 59.97 but that should be obvious so yeah then bitrate that should be 6 project best okay and then it's safe um, another thing you could do is uh, mp4 that's a bit better quality so uh, go to main concept AVC AAC MP4. I already have my presets, so yeah, just copy down these settings. It's important that you go to constant bitrate 14 million. So, yeah, these settings are if you may want to send the clips to an editor, you should use these settings. They are a bit better quality than WMV, but also higher file size, but that shouldn't be too much. So, yeah, audio and project. Okay, and these are uh, my MP4 settings. So, yeah, I think I hope this tutorial helped you. If you have any more tutorial requests, write them in the comments. Please, if you have any requests, write them in the comments. Uh, yeah, and yeah, like the video and check out some of my other videos. So, yeah, that's it. And bye.